How you doing today, folks? I have a problem. I have a good problem. I have a problem which brings me joy, which brings me happiness, which brings me bliss, which brings me no end of happiness. Now, I'm gonna be recording a series of videos basically about the hunt, the search, the addiction, the constant need for something new, something better, something different, a new maker, a new model, a new piece, a new material that people like me and our community as a whole, for the most part, we all experience this, right? We have this incessant need to collect, to try something new out. You know, case in point, I was on Cedric and Ada's channel last night, and I happened to see a video for um, Rex 121, and it performed roughly three times as good as S90V. Do I need a steel that is that crazy hard that he can go through those tinsel ropes almost, uh, I think it was like 1,300 times? Absolutely not. Am I going to get one? Oh, you bet your ass I am. Why? Because I have problems, because I am nuts, because this community is crazy and the things we do are crazy, but it also makes us crazy happy. So these are some of my, you know, pretty much my favorite pry tools. I have quite a few more than this, but these are my absolute favorites for one form or another. This is a gift. Don't know why I love as much as I do what I do. It's a little limited edition, you know, different makers, different models. Uh, my primary user is actually this $8 pry bar from Tucson. It's actual titanium, T6 titanium. It has this fantastic flame pattern on it. And for the life of me, I cannot break this. I've tried very hard. I actually jammed this down underneath a car um, with a hammer and then proceeded to jump on it trying to snap this thing. And the only thing I accomplished is falling on my ass like an idiot. But this thing is phenomenal. Um, I have pry tools that range from, you know, $15 to, uh, I think my highest one is a Mokume one. And that is, I think it was like $8.50. But this is my favorite. This is my user. Anybody who's interested in a pry tool should definitely check out this one if this appeals to you. It's also damn fun to put your finger in this and then just spin. You can't see it because the camera's too low. But anyways, it's whoop. <laughs> but anyways this whole series is going to be very interactive right so i want to know what you guys love you know what is your philosophy of use what do you enjoy about the community what are your favorite knife your favorite maker your favorite model your favorite material your favorite steel and why do you collect why do you use why do you buy knives or edc gear in general what brings you happiness now me, I have this sickness where I have to try out new makers, new models, new materials, and it's always forever shifting. I will probably never ever be truly happy because I'm gonna always want something different, which is a good thing, but also kind of a bad thing because, uh, well, you guys are gonna get plenty of interesting videos and I'm going to be broke. <laughs> So what makes you happy? What makes you love? What brings you happiness? What is love for you in this community? What does it represent? And what do you enjoy? Please comment below and let me know those thoughts. Again, I want to talk to y'all. I've been very lackluster on some of the commenting and I want to get that back in order to where I'm just talking to you guys all the time. So anybody comments on this video, expect a response. As always, I love you all very, very much. Thank you for your time, your likes, your support, your subscribes, your comments. As always, they mean the absolute world to me. Thank you for everything. And as always, please do me just this one personal favor and do the best you can to be a better person tomorrow than you are today. And I do promise you'll find your center in life. There's too much negativity, too much hate in the world. Let's just find a way to look past it all and love one another. Thank you for your time and bye.